And uh, it's just interesting uh, when you talk to you as a guy, you talk to your guy friends about relationships. Uh, and if you get a relationship with a guy, your guy friends tell you everything. He'd be like, oh yeah, and I hit that last night. Yeah, and I banged that. Yeah, I smashed that. Smash that, like it's a fucking plastic trash can you ran over this car, you know, like it's a vagina, it's messed up. But that, that girl six, like a year later, won't say any of that. But like, hey, man, did you hit that last night? Oh, wait, that's, that's, that's my girlfriend, man. I just want to know if you, you banged her or not. So, dude, that's my girl, man, I love her. It's like, you can love her, I just want to, see, I just want to know if she still looks like your asshole, like she used to when you first started dating. Back in the good old days, you told me everything. <laughs> What happens? There we go. Call the room, Jeff. Do you have three for the next comic? Yeah. Yeah? It's gonna happen anyway. It's only one person ready. It's... Are you guys ready for the next comic? <laughs> so thank you, Wally. Uh, he is a human being who breathes oxygen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Benny Perry! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna do I, I'm gonna do the only voice I can do. Uh, you guys ever watch a show called uh, Aqua Teen Hunter Force? Yeah. I got some loot rod. So I can go up there and be like, hey, I'm going to the comedy show. How about you? Are you having a good time today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess not. Y'all can clap. I guess I'm the asshole. Okay. You're not the asshole. We're going to do what you got there. What? We're going to do some French stuff there. We're going to do some loot rod. We're going to do some loot rod. Yeah, that's the thing. You're going to say words. I'm terrified like all the time. But, you know, it's burning. All right, you made it 10 minutes. Now, you guys have a good time. This show's going pretty well, I think. Yeah? Alright. Okay, I'm going to bring you the next comic up. Uh, I don't know much about this gentleman. I know he's a baseball fan like I am, which is a good thing. Actually, you're here. No, next. Shit, sit back down. Fuck okay. it. No, this guy is uh, the guy who runs the show. He's, he's in charge of the show. I got my shit mixed up. I'm, I'm a terrible host. It's fine. Uh, this guy, he's the one that made all this happen. So we're going to give him a huge round of applause when he comes up here. Once you guys, a big round of applause for Chris Martin. Always nervous when I do stand-up comedy. I'm nervous. More nervous than a Colombian prostitute dating a Secret Service agent. <laughs> Confederate Secret Service agent got in trouble with a Colombian prostitute. Try to pay with Confederate money. Promised her he was going to rise again, but he never did. You and Judy go, oh, I'm already screwing up. Great White Hill, spying off the coast of Alaska. Turns out it was just New Jersey Governor Chris Christie taking a break from filming Mill Funner number 14. Sarah Penn will be doing a reality TV show on the Discovery Channel about hunting and fishing. It's going to be called Deadliest Snatch. Newt Gingrich has given up his campaigning for president. He promised us he was going to build a base on the moon. I'm still running for president, and I still promise to build a base on Mars, where they'll have uh, three-breasted prostitutes, the way God and Arnold Schwarzenegger intended. It's a total recall joke. Thank you, somebody did. So, Dick Clark recently died, the guy who founded American Bandstand and the Dick uh, New Year's Eve, Wackin' Eve, blah, 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 blah. So in honor of his memory, I draw my balls. <laughs> George Lopez, gonna be doing a dating show. Or really, it shouldn't be called a dating show. There's another open mic on Saturday, a restaurant called Pine in the fan. They've got a great bathroom on the second floor. The sink reminds me of an Aztec ceremonial sacrificial bowl. Keep walking in there and expecting to see the severed head of Mel Gibson. There's a service called Snag a Job. I think there should be a service called Snag a Slut. <laughs> oh wait a minute, there is. It's called the Starlight Inn. There's a store in Perrytown called One Eye Jacks, sell gaming supplies. I think the name for it should be One Handed Nerds. 
And really, should we be calling Dungeons and Dragons basements of dragons? Saw a horse patrol, mountain horse patrol, on Meadow Street in Richmond, which is cool, but I just can't wait until they have the unicycle, skateboard, and balloon patrols. Watch a lot of insurance commercials on television, which leaves me wondering, which would be worse, to have the Aflac duck, the elephant insurance elephant, or flow from progressive insurance sit on your face? I'm always shocked, I'm never shocked anymore because I ran into Flo, the Aflac Duck, and the Geico Gecko getting on an alley behind the Starlight Inn. The good news is the Gecko Geico uses his tongue for something besides selling insurance. The bad news is the Aflac Duck walked out on his bill. <laughs> Thank you, April. They, uh, I want to be the first guy to put his penis in the VCU football cheerleaders, but China, because that would be the Richmond equivalent of being the first man on the moon, or the first Secret Service agent to sleep with a Martian prostitute. Got an exciting email from Playboy. It said, sexy Playboy girls want you. Then I opened it up and he said, to stop paying for Hugh Hefner's Viagra. <laughs> Which was kind of a letdown. Like Hugh Hefner's penis and mine. <laughs> they just did a performance of the Vagina Monologues in Richmond. They wanted to do a performance of the penis dialogues. Sadly, they didn't have enough balls. I want to be able to travel back in time, slap Edith Warden, and say, I'm Henry James, bitch. <laughs> Dave Chappelle came to me in a dream and told me that joke would suck. My name is Chris Martin. Welcome back to the stage, your MC. I'm on the CD, welcome. I was in the back taking a nap, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm going to keep it rolling. Your, your next comic, who I almost introduced before because I'm stupid, uh, he also has helped set the show up. And as I said, I don't know much about him. I know he's, he's a big baseball fan. Uh, I know one time he fell on his ass at Kazi's uh, at New Produce, which was a hilarious story that everyone tells. Uh, he's going to be hilarious here tonight. So give a round of applause for Steve Zahn, everybody. Uh, the Kazi story is funny because it's true. As much as I hate to admit it, it is true. <laughs> all right, so how about CB hosting tonight? Come on. Come on. They came all the way from Virginia Beach to have us do that game a little But uh, Girl Scout cookies are back. Yeah, now my doctor back on speed dial. That one time a year. Sorry, that was a little uh, fat joke to start off. Unfortunately, that's what my set is full of. But, uh, but no. Uh, no, there are, there are some uh, perks to being a large guy like myself, um, like having man boobs. And I'll tell you what, there's one perk to having man boobs. Practice. <laughs> That's right. Now I just need a girl to uh, exercise in on. <laughs> but uh, I am single. Surprising. Not really. But uh, no. I am single, so I am kind of sad, you know. I like to have a girlfriend, but I know how shit is. They only want you for your money, and I don't have any fucking money to give them, so. That was a joke that had no ending that I just made up. Uh, any uh, homophobes in here? Good, because if you were, you are going to hate my next joke. But, uh, no, um... As CB said, I'm a baseball fan. If you can't tell by on the shirt, I'm even drinking the fucking official water of Major League Baseball. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, you know how the uh, the Army has had their uh, little program called "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" for the uh, 
the uh, homosexual men and women. I was just wondering what something like that would be if there were uh, homosexual uh, baseball players. I would think it would be something called don't pitch, don't catch. Obviously. <laughs> obviously, obviously that one needs work or else there's just no sports fans in here besides me and TV. But uh, going back to what Brent said about dumb drivers, was that you, Brent? Yeah. Going back to what Brent said about dumb drivers, you don't, if you live in Richmond, you don't need to take a road trip. <laughs> you just need to leave your driveway and you can see dumb drivers. No, like people that, I, I live, the, the closest main road to my house is a 45 mile an hour road. I can't tell you how many warnings I hit that bitch and people are going 35, 25, I'm like, and it's not just one person. There's always somebody in the lane right beside them doing the exact same speed. So you try to get around them, and it's just like having a fucking aneurysm or something. But uh, actually, last week, uh, I was driving up uh, driving up Laburnum Avenue in the East End where I live, and uh, I got passed by a Hummer, a big H2 Hummer. I didn't know anybody still drove those. But the ironic thing was, once the uh, once the hunter passed me, he ran out of gas. But the ironic thing was, he just left the gas station. Uh, I heard hummers get bad gas miles, but goddamn. But the really bad thing was, on the back of his on his back window, we had a bumper sticker that says "Ban Offshore Drilling." I was like, you might want to rethink that one. Put some more gas in your Hummer, or at least get a fucking Prius or something. But uh, speaking of uh, Obama, but uh, no, uh, uh, not Barack Obama, but uh, Michelle Obama and Jill Biden were in a uh, NASCAR race. I know this because I watch NASCAR because I'm a loser. Uh, they were at a NASCAR race a few months ago. And uh, they were giving the uh, gentleman start your engine command. And before they could give the command, the crowd was booing them. And they had this look on their face like, why is the crowd booing them? And I was like, it's okay. They don't even know why they're there. That one, I said that one better last time. And it worked better. So never mind that one. I'll have to <laughs> look at how I wrote that again. But uh, anyway, um, a lot, I know uh, the kind of fashion thing is with uh, hats. I wear hats a lot, obviously, but uh, the f kind of fashion thing is, at least in the, in the town that I live in, is to wear uh, the stickers and shit like the New Era sticker still on the rim of the hat. And that, that's fine, you know, that's, that's a fashion trend that ain't going to change. But one day I actually saw a guy wearing a sale price sticker on the rim of his hat. And I actually had to laugh at that because that's just that's about as stupid as somebody trying to close a Walmart saying it's swagger. Like that bitch that's champion. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that was the best joke I've told so far. But uh no, I'm, I'll leave you guys on this one. Uh this one this one's one I've been working on. Um uh, I know uh I tell this one endlessly now, but uh, I've heard that uh, some women don't like guys that wear socks during sex. And I know pretty much all of you have answered this, but uh, it, it's just kind of, it's still curious to me, and I don't know why I can't let the subject go, but, you know, the, fuck, this is a guy that just forgot his line right here. And get a chuckle, but no. Uh, if you're if you're the girl and a guy and you're having sex with a guy and he's wearing his socks, what do you say to him? If I were the woman, this this isn't some sick fantasy or something. But if I were the woman, I'd be like, so uh, you plan on coming or going? Mm -hmm. Now, if I were the guy and I were wearing the socks and the woman asked me this question, I'm like. Because I gotta hurry this up, bitch. I gotta go pick up some Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> the fuckers go quick. Um, this has been fun. So, 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out. Have a good night. Steve, I don't know how you're doing, man, but if a girl wants to have sex with me, I will socks on, socks off, uh, wearing a tutu, I don't know, and whatever she wants, whatever makes her come, that's what I'm about, <laughs> sir. Same here. This has been so long since someone let me touch my penis, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> okay, if someone let me touch my penis, it would go stranger danger and hide behind my balls. That's what would happen. That's, we're in a bad scenario here. <laughs> that's all I got. Alright, I got some, uh, information I need to share. Uh, there's a new open mic Sunday uh, on the rocks in Chaco Bottom, uh, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. There's just a lot of random information written down here, Chris. I don't know what these things mean. 7 p.m. starts. Uh, 7 p.m. 8 p.m. the show starts. Okay, 7 p.m. the sign up is, and the show is at 8. Uh, drink special 25% off with comics who go up. Not just comics who show up and say I'm a comic, and we say you're a fucking liar. Prove it to me. Uh, the last one here is looking for some donations. I actually want to get a banner and some flyers and stuff. Uh, so give us money. Where's the camera? Give me money. Camera. Uh, what else? Laugh -Up, the Laugh Up Festival, April 1st, uh, which would be several Thursdays from now, I imagine. Probably about four. April 1st? I don't know. A year. Huh? April 1st? Oh, a year. April 1st is 2012. That is very uh, arrogant. That's some fucking balls. He's like, I come up here in a year, goddamn right, we're a goddamn festival in a year. All right, I love it, I love it. Fuck yeah. The third Thursday, the Lab Improv Jam with Richmond Comedy Coalition. Uh, yeah, I, I heard my buddy Rob Wilson, who was, was in the Pushers, is now as part of Plan B, one of our local improvs, he's up here, he's like, Richmond Comedy Coalition is a bunch of funny motherfuckers. And Rob Wilson does not like most people. So for him to say that, he must know that Richmond Comedy Coalition is funny though. So there we are. That's 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 that part of advertising. There'll be more advertisers later. So we're staring at you. Yeah. Ooh. You're like a stone-faced, handsome son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not saying I'm gay. I'm just saying it's been a while. I'm like a sailor on a ship. So I'm gonna bring our next comic. Uh, I don't know this gentleman. I do know. I believe it's next. Not this coming Sunday, but next Sunday he's going to be headlining the uh, Sunday Funnies at Cosmos. Is that correct? Yes, I saw him on a flyer last night. So he will be uh, in like I say, but Danny Cosmos Comic Club in New Produce. It's a wonderful place uh, to go. And so I want you to give a big round of applause to James Lawson. Yes. Yes. Uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I'd like y'all to keep the show going. The lights been going. Laughing to a new. <laughs> I think this is a wonderful room for comedy. Matter of fact, I like to applaud the people who put it together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both it up, they say it was going to be packed. If this is packed, I hate to see empty motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't lying, boy. But I'm glad to be here tonight, though. I'm just glad to be here. How many of y'all just glad to get out the house? Hell yeah. yeah. And damn, I feel the same way. Just glad to get the hell out the house. Amen. Amen. Damn, damn kids plucking my damn hair. Amen. Y'all got children too? Yes. Together? Seventeen. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Damn, how did y'all do that together? I'm just gonna try to figure Eggs and shit. Love. Eggs and shit. Fucking okay. love. All right, I don't want no more. I don't want to get no more. That's not. Um, I'm just getting back from Vegas, though, man. I'm tired as hell. Just getting back from Vegas. Uh, see, I'm never going back. I went to Vegas, man. They got some crazy people out there, man. And this beautiful lady out there. Y'all turn me on stuff. You remind me of the lady I met out there. She, you don't see no showgirls, they be on stage, they be holding they like a line up and be yeah. holding hands and kicking. Like yeah, yes. Yeah, beautiful women. Some of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. So after the show, I went to like this uh this restaurant and I just wanted to meet her, you know. So I went up to her, I said, oh man, you know, I bought her a drink and everything. I said, man, you know, I hope I don't sound too forward, but I just want to introduce myself. I think you're one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. And I just want to come over here and just, you know, introduce myself. Uh, Ma'am, you are gorgeous. What, what is your name? She said, um, my name is Bob. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I say never going back to Vegas, man. Some crazy shit, man. And I ain't got nothing against people like that, you know. So 
out of saying oh, go homosexuals, all my name is homosexuals. Any homosexuals in the house? Any men in the house? I ain't no problem with homosexuals. I'm like this, I ain't no problem with it. You know, some of my best friends are homosexuals. <laughs> 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 don't question that, I take it like that. Some of my best friends home section, they came out on Facebook, there's three of them, uh, Rico, uh, Jay Marlon, and Stefan. They came out on Facebook and they told everybody, you know, and, uh, we had a 10 year reunion, and uh, they thought I was going to treat them differently because they're homosexual. I said, look, man, I love y'all like brothers. You know, we go back like practice, actually. As long as y'all respect me, I respect y'all. That's how I care, you know. And uh, we were sitting in at the table across from each other. I could spawn, I felt Jay Marlon rub his foot up my leg under the goddamn table. Mm. Yeah, you know what I said, mm. What the hell? Fuck. So you rubbed your damn foot up my leg under the table. I said, shit, you 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 want want me to respect you, you want me to respect me. Bottom line, you gotta come to some kind of understanding. I ain't all tolerate that shit. You rub your damn foot up my leg under the goddamn table. I looked under the table, it was just a tablecloth brushing up against my leg. I said, my Facebook friend no more than all for the <laughs> They get a chance to go to, uh, the, uh, what was it? They went to Jamaica. Everybody went to Jamaica. I went to Jamaica. Yeah. Uh, I asked everybody, I see y'all smoke weed, go to Jamaica. Man. Everybody smoke weed out there. I think it's legal out there. You know, even the cab driver smoked weed. I got a cab, cab driver was smoking a joint. He passed it to me. I, I started smoking a joint with a damn cab driver. And I looked at the Time, I was in the cab for four hours and 27 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at the meter, I owed him $273. Job security. We had never left the parking lot, we were just riding in circles and shit. <laughs> and <just> over <laughs> I said, damn. I said, that's what I want to do in my lifetime. I said, I want to just travel the world and I want to see, see the world before I die. You know, I want to just go everywhere, man. Italy, Japan, all over to Africa. So far, I've saved up like $137. <laughs> like I'm going to Petersburg now. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. But it, this is cool, man. I, I, hope, I wish y'all the best for this room, man. I'm serious, you know. Actually, it's kind of packed if you think about it. We just got too many chairs. I don't know. We <laughs> sit tight together if you pack them. Seven year anniversary with my wife. I see the couple in the back. How you doing? Y'all a couple? Huh? Y'all have a couple? Y'all just together? Y'all yeah. a couple? Y'all turn me on. Black and white and lesbian. And her too? God damn! I'm joining like this jacket on right now, man. This is so good. Uh oh. Uh, mm -hmm. That made it a little reverse Oreo right there. Yeah. yeah just, <laughs> got the chocolate in the middle. Uh oh, Oreo. Oh, yeah. You should try it. I wish I could. Am I invited? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can take a hat off. Don't do that. Yeah, you can take your hat off. I can't see your face. I gotta see you first. Oh, okay. Well, then, well, I guess I'm not invited. <laughs> Stay just like this. I look good like this. You got this. and shit, though. <laughs> no, I am all right, man. I, I fantasize about shit like that. I go home and get on top of my wife and think about y'all. <laughs> so all men do that, don't we? We fantasize about other women. It ain't cheap. You know, it ain't cheap. <laughs> I'm trying to get this, this photographic picture with that, with that high heel shoe up there on the damn chair. I love that shit, man. High heel pumps. I got like a foot fetish. I'm fooling you. You know, women be fooling you with them sexy shoes, don't they? Sometimes they have them sexy shoes on, them sexy stilettos. Get a home, them damn toenails look like cracker down teeth, don't they? <laughs> I hate them hard brown toenails, don't they? Look like Slim Jim. <laughs> hey, nah, I hate that shit, man. <laughs> so I'm like, can you give me a foot rub? So let me go get my other mitts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm nervous, too, man. That's why I got my head down real low. I'm saying, I've been doing comedy for almost seven years, and I don't care. Every time you get up here, man, it's, it's, it's like the first time. You be nervous as hell. I've been in the bathroom, you know, across the street, man, like 12 times. Stunk it up. <laughs> I tried to spray, but that shit don't never work. 
not like I wipe my ass with a dozen of roses just over me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I like to smoke weed, though I do. I had tried to stop it because I, I gave myself um, anxiety disorder. Because you, know, you know, when you smoke weed, you get really, sometimes you get nervous and anxious. And I was smoking so much before I was coming on stage. And you get, no, you get paranoid. That's really what I meant to say. And I was coming on stage and smoking before I was coming on stage. And like my, my muscles was twitching, like my lip was twitching and stuff right on stage. I mean, everything. The one it got so bad, like all my muscles were twitching. You know, my, my booty cheeks was clapping one day. <laughs> Got a couple of extra dollars that day, but you know, it's all good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But I didn't know what the hell was going on, man. I went on the internet and tried to diagnose all my symptoms. Yo, go do that. Be sick and go on the internet. Don't do that shit. You, you make yourself more sick looking at the shit they tell you to get. So I was, I was, that made me more damn paranoid. I thought I had every damn thing, you know, because it was more suspicious. Things a lot of stuff, man. I thought I had multiple sclerosis, <laughs> Parkinson's disease. This morning I found out that I was pregnant. Y'all give it up for the thing. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So y'all coming in the back? Come, one of y'all comedians are coming up? Y'all just came to see the show? God damn. <laughs> You ready to get out of here? I think I'm again on this. I'm just trying to do some, do some, um, do some new stuff. But instead of doing comedy, I said comedy don't work. I'm gonna try some different avenues. So um, I like, I like poetry. Any poetry fans in here? So this, this ain't, this ain't funny. I'm just gonna try because ain't no lot of people in here. So I said I'm gonna go ahead and try and see how it work. You know, so if we could just put the jokes on pause for a minute. I'm gonna try to do this, this uh, poem that I wrote. Hope I remember. But it's about smoking weed. And it's called, uh, does anybody know where I can find some of the weed? I hope I can remember it because you know, I smoke weed. But uh, here you go. See, I, I looked into my bag and all I saw was a seed. Does anybody know where I can find some of the weed? I went to the projects. Cause I heard that's where it's at. I gave somebody $10, their ass ain't came back yet. <laughs> I went on Facebook to see who had some for sale. The pastor of my church liked my post. LOL, you going to hell. <laughs> Last I went to my physician and demanded a prescription. I'm not sure if he was listening, because all he mentioned was intervention. <laughs> <laughs> now you know just what I mean. If I follow, will you lead and guide me? Don't deny me. Shit surprised me with a bag of weed. Thank you. Also, I came here, I could have did this on Facebook, but I came here, I thought it was going to be more people. I'm here lying at the Richmond Funny Ball this Wednesday, here tonight, I got some, the ticket's $10, I got some half-off passes. Even if you don't go, I'm going to get you some passes before we all leave. Thank y'all. James Lawson, everybody, get some weed. I'm James Lawson. Yeah.